uh, the last question to Chris Loder. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. May I, first of all, uh, support the comments made by my honourable friend, the member for South Dorset, a little earlier in respect of the Yeovil South East Cord. Um, first of all, Madam Deputy Speaker, I'd like to say this is absolutely brilliant news. This is the first clear statement we have had in this House for radical reform in our passengers' benefits. And I would just like to say this also corrects the disastrous 2005 Labour's Railways Act that went to further separate this railway rather than to reintegrate it. But I would just like to um, say to the Secretary of State, when a Member of Parliament has to point out to his local train operator that 15 lights on a train station aren't working and they still can't fix them, there is something terribly wrong with the system today, as one example. Can I ask uh, for a personal assurance from my right honourable friend that he will, one, not only prevent franchise boundaries from being a blocker for further through services for regional connectivity, but will he also work with me to sort out the dreadful frequency and continual issues we have on the heart of Wessex Line, which has the worst frequency in the entirety of England? Secretary of State. Well, Madam Deputy Speaker, it's, it's a pleasure to get to respond in this last question to somebody who's actually worked on the railways and understands this thing. I do feel for his franchise uh, because they have to deal with him, and he will not take no for an answer, and quite right too. And he points out something which is, or several things, which are really important about this reform, which is, you know, the, the boundaries, the franchise boundaries, as he rightly describes them, cause too much disruption too much fragmentation, and that is the key thing which will end with Great British Railways, bringing it all together. And finally, Madam Deputy Speaker, listening to the representatives of the people, I believe, and have strongly, I hope, indicated through things like uh, the Beaching Reversal Fund, that members of Parliament in this place have an absolute right and duty to be able to be involved in the way that their services develop within their areas. And I know my honourable friend and other uh, honourable members uh, throughout this House uh, will appreciate that Great British Railways will once again be more responsive to them as the rightful representatives of their constituents.